Let's continue our low pass filter. In last uh, video, we stopped uh, here. We got uh, amplitude response of uh, a simple low pass filter. Let's consider three typical cases. Case one, when omega is much smaller than one over C R uh, CR2, then it's a very low frequency, right? It's a omega very small. If omega is a very uh, small, if omega is a very small, right? Now, uh, what do we have? If I uh, uh, move this to that side, you have omega CR2 much smaller than one. So in this case, I can write in different way. This is uh, omega CR2 is much smaller than one. In this case, we can get rid of this part as uh, approximation. Uh, in this case, I get rid of this part as approximation because this part is much smaller than one. Once I get, get rid of this part, uh, this term here completely disappear as this is one. So what you left is R2 over R1. That means if a frequency is a low, is a very low, this circuit again is a constant. That is R2 over R1. And that is the first extreme. The second extreme, when omega much larger than one over CR2, I can write uh, in different way. This is omega CR2 much larger than one. <coughs> this is another extreme. If this is much larger than one, you look here, this term is much larger than this. Now I can get rid of this part as approximation. Um, the complete ignore there. Now once I do that, here is uh, two. Uh, is a square that is a root square. These cancel each other. So you have uh, omega CR2 left. CR2 left. Oh, now that is a result. This is a two. Huh. Now in this case, the response, this uh, response is uh, one over omega CR2. Now from this, you can see um, this uh, transfer function is uh, related to omega. Uh, here, C, R2, uh, constant, uh, omega is a variable. With the frequency increase, your amplitude will decrease, uh, omega in bottom. If we use uh, dB as a, a unit, um, every 10 times increase of your frequency, your amplitude will drop. 20 dB. That is uh, actually it's, uh, 10 times. Now, the third case is when omega equal one over CR2. Again, we can write this is omega CR2 equals one. Okay. We back to this equation. Uh, this part equals one, and this is one uh, that become root square two. Uh, it is a constant that is one over root square two, R2 of R1. This is a, a very special case because this is a, a boundary between low frequency and the high frequency. Uh, that is, uh, or oh, this is a, a corner. <laughs> if a frequency lower than this, uh, this corner here, uh, this is a constant. As I indicated here, is R2 over R1. If uh, frequency is high, the amplitude will decrease. That is uh, minus 20 dB per decade. And this is called corner frequency. Corner, corner frequency, frequency. Okay, this is the corner frequency. So this is actually, the first order low pass filter. Uh, 
the bold plot show low frequency signal can pass the filter and high frequency is attenuated. Uh, low frequency signal in this region pass and high frequency signal uh, will be blocked. Okay, I'll give you one more uh, filter because this filter is a very useful. This is second order but worse low pass filter circuit. This is very, very useful. Actually in our tomography system, I use this uh, circuit to get rid of uh, high frequency uh, harmonics. In this um, design, uh, actually OPAM is, you just need a single OPAM. You have uh, two capacitors. This is C, that is two C. This means double value. R, R is the same. Uh, we can use a node uh, voltage method to analyze this uh, circuit. Uh, to do this, if you remember, we need uh, to find out where is the T-junction. Uh, in this case, we consider here is a T-junction. So we assume a dummy parameter V to stand for the potential at uh, this, uh, this point. Now you may wonder why you don't suppose uh, here because here is a VO, that is a VO, and here is a VO. So this is already, you know, that is a VO. Only here is uncertain, we don't know. Uh, here is VI, that's a VO, here is a V. Now we can easily uh, write equations uh, uh, according to Kirchhoff uh, current law to describe the relationship between current. Let's see current here first. Uh, that is a voltage input that would in, induce current. This current we can write, this is a VI minus V divided by R. So that is a current. And this current must uh, flow away. One way is to go this way. The other way is to go that way. And to work out the current here, we know this potential is V. Do remember here is a VO. Yes, here is VO, that is VO, here is VO. Uh, here is also VO. So this current, I can write this V minus VO divided by R. I have uh, another current is here. This is a V, that is a VO. That is the same thing, V minus VO divided by this impedance. So this impedance is one over J omega to C. So now we can use uh, Kirchhoff law, we can, we can link together. Is uh, those two are output and this is the input. That is the uh, first equation. That is uh, here, VI minus V divided by R. That's the same, equals, equals V minus VO. Uh, here is times J omega to C, and it's uh, divided by one over J omega to C. This is the same thing. And then the one more current, this uh, V minus VO divided by R. So that's, that is the first equation. Now, because here we involve uh, three parameters, you have a VI, a VO, and a V. Obviously, you need uh, one more equation. Uh, how can we write uh, one more equation? Okay. Let's uh, consider here this current there. We already we work out this is a V minus VO divided by R. Again, this current must flow away. From here to this, to this direction, and then you need uh, a current there. There is no current here because this is the ideal operational amplifier. There is no current to inside. And this current we can work out uh, as we know this is a V0. Here is the ground. That is a V0 divided by one over J omega C. Uh, there is only one current in, one current out. So this is uh, equal. 
Now that is a second uh, second equation there. That is a v minus v zero divided by r equal v zero. Here is uh, times j omega c, and this is the same thing. Right. That is the same thing. Now we have uh, two equations to describe this uh, this uh, circuit. We have uh, three parameters. Uh, we can easily we can get rid of one. That is a V we don't want. That is a middle parameter. By eliminating V, we can find the relationship between output and the input. Uh, actually, what we like is VO divided by VI. Right. We want to try and find this uh, relationship. Um, yes, I leave you this as your exercise. I jump to uh, the, the result. It's uh, VO divided by VI. That is your transfer function equals one over one minus F, F0 square plus JQ divided by Q, F divided by F0. Uh, you must uh, say, oh, this is uh, quite uh, strange. I'm not uh, familiar with uh, this uh, form form at, uh, format uh, at all. Uh, here, there is a definition. Is a uh, f zero, f zero equals one over two pi root square two r c. That is a definition. Yeah. Why we define this uh, form? Because this uh, definition has a specific physical meaning that is a cutoff frequency. And here you have uh, another parameter Q, another parameter Q. Q in um, this uh, uh, definition, this is called uh, resonant factor. This uh, resonant factor, that is uh, a ratio. Right, um, okay. Uh, this uh, ratio, you can define different uh, value. You can define different value. Uh, actually, this uh, circuit uh, is not only for Butterworth filter, it's a general second order low pass filter. Once you define Q equals this value, this is 0 0.707, uh, this become a low pass filter. So it is this uh, Q, the specific value 0 0.707, that filter become low pass, uh, but worse, low pass filter. Okay, here is an exercise. I ask you to derive this uh, result from here to there. That is your exercise. Now we have uh, amplitude uh, look like this. Now we need uh, to work out uh, amplitude uh, response by taking absolute. Uh, uh, from here, if you take uh, absolute, you need uh, to take uh, absolute uh, there. Again, here you have a real part. That is a real part. And here is imaginary part. Uh, this is a real. Real and here is the imaginary, imaginary, imaginary. Uh, again, you need to uh, square this part plus square that part and then root square. Now you can find out this result. This is a one over root square one plus f over f zero. Uh, to remember F0, now we have a definition that is a cutoff frequency, and then you have a power four. Now with uh, this, uh, this result, uh, we can do a similar thing to a first order, uh, a simple first order low pass filter. We can consider uh, uh, three special cases. The first one similar to before, if f is much smaller than f0, if f is much smaller than f0, and this term is much smaller than one. If this term is much smaller than one, I take this part off as approximation. 
So the amplitude response is simply is a one, right? Is a constant. The second case, when f is much larger than f zero, that means this term is much larger than one. I get rid of one as approximation. So here is a power four, that is root square. Uh, you have uh, two left. So now you have uh, f, f zero square left. Okay, now that is one over, you turn around, that's become f zero divided by f two. Here, f zero is a constant. If you look at this uh, equation again, it's a two pi, two RC is always a fixed. So F zero is constant, F is a variable. Um, with the frequency increase, if F increase, your amplitude response will decrease. Because here you have a square, this uh, decrease speed is a double than before. So now it's a, uh, minus 40 dB per decade. In uh, another uh, words, every time if you increase your frequency 10 times, your amplitude will decrease 100 times. The third case, this is similar to uh, the simple low pass filter, we consider F equals F zero. That means this term become one. Again, one plus one is two, as is uh, root square two. This is uh, similar to previous case, one over root square two. Uh, this is uh, a corner frequency. That is uh, a separation boundary between low frequency part and high frequency part. Then we can draw uh, a bold plot to show the relationship between gain and uh, uh, gain of a theater and a frequency. Uh, that is uh, this, that is this. You can see why this uh, this one, use a, a different color, this. I mentioned with uh, this uh, circuit, you can choose a different queue. With a different queue, you have a different uh, response. And uh, this one, I use a green color, this is 0 0.707. That is a response. Um, now you can get more ideas with other cue, either you have a oscillate or it's a slow, slow response. Okay, the feature of uh, Butterworth's low pass filter is uh, this, is a maximum flight in passband. That means uh, here, that is a passband here. With the other types of uh, filter, you may have a uh, ripple uh, like this. It's not exactly flight. But with the butterflies, this is a very, very flight. Uh, the feature in a uh, resonant factor is with, uh, with the butterflies low pass filter, this is 0 0.707. Okay, that is an example page. That is a summary page. Okay, we finished uh, this part. This is uh, part uh, eight. The next time we will start uh, last part. Part nine.